Tra la la! I'm never doing that again. Hey guys, Superbad257 here, and this is my review on Cat and Underpants. Come to this. I've run out of ideas, I've run out of movies to talk about, so I need to talk about Cats and Underpants. Not that it wasn't a good movie or anything, it was actually an okay movie. The voice acting was actually pretty good, Kevin Hart was pretty good as the, like, you know, Dennis the Menace, the other guy who played the other kid was also really good. It was actually quite funny, actually. Like, it was more funny than I expected it to be. The trailer didn't really market it as well as it should, though. The trailer doesn't really look as good as what the movie actually is, because the movie is actually a pretty well movie. The only thing it does suffer with is a kid's movie as well. Captain Underpants is coming from a book, it's coming from a children's book that I used to love as a kid. I used to read it a lot with my friend George. We were pretty big fans of Captain Underpants and we also really loved the books. So go and see this movie. It is a very faithful adaptation to the books. Again, it's a kid's movie and it is an entertaining kid's movie, but it's just a kid's movie. It is really entertaining and there's nothing really harmless about it, so I would just say if you feel like it, go and see Captain Underpants. I'm not going to stop you, no one's going to stop you. It's getting some pretty good reviews anyway, so who really cares? I mean, it's a pretty entertaining movie, and, you know, just, you know, it's pretty much made for kids, so go and see it with your kid. If you have a kid or, like, a younger cousin or something, go and see it with them, because it's made for them. Okay, so what did you think of Captain Underpants? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment down... Com there, how did I say that wrong? Comment down below, subscribe, and my next movie will be... Oh, SON OF A BITCH!